All right, let's go. Yeah, we, we've done. We've done Luen. Yeah, so we can go Jungo. I think my absolutely my crown jewel for this week is the top one. Uh, when we get there, depends how long you want to go tonight. Uh, I'm happy to go until we go through the whole list because I want to delete my entire list so I can start. Yeah, I need new to ones. so I can then grab more <laughs> for more content. That's the thing, right? Uh, so my hand is a mess. It plays very well against a lot of decks, Did except just... for okay. Eldlick. Uh. I thought you chained is... the maxi to the extravagance, and I was gonna scream at you. But okay. no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. The, yeah, my my hand was like, okay, Ooh. I can. I've got an impermanence. I've got a kaiju. I've got a maxi. I'm pretty good on my drytron. I'm good on my tri brigade. My lyriless matchup. Everything. Oh, as Elfic. Okay. Fun times. Fun times. Sorry. Uh, let's play, let's just see how well they put it. Well, you've got two imperms for a pair of back row. Not that it really matters. And then another max C. Okay. Yeah, Someone didn't so shuffle their deck. This is a this game is kind of highlighting how being patient is more beneficial. Because uh, I know my opponent can just snipe away my imperms if I go for it. My opponent gets a counter trap. So the kaiju is now... The kaiju is actually very important in this matchup. It's deceptively so because you take the elder chat play so that they golden land forever and the conquistadors and that just get massively weakened yeah he needs to it's... also have sanguine in order for his cards to work at all yeah like you you basically put your force your opponent to have the sanguine to line up their back row so this was a case of just sort of like this one matchup is about being a bit patient because you know that the otk potential i mean it's there because they can go two eldlicks and then hit you with the uh rank 10 uh dreadnought cannon yeah like, it can happen, but, like, just... In this <laughs> it's case, an easy it's way to say I have no personality. <laughs> Sorry, just reading Tinker's comments. <laughs> <laughs> well, I disagree. I think, I think if you're playing Eldritch Stun, you're just looking for... You're picking up easy wins for people that just don't... Because you're... You, to play in this current format, you're in a bit of an awkward situation, because... Yeah. You need to play uh, some spell and trap removal... But then it leaves you completely wide open on matchups like Lyralisk or Drytron, where you're not going to ever resolve yeah. your back row removal. In this case, I still had the Pegasus in my deck, <laughs> yeah. uh, which actually just works out very well in the Eldritch matchup. There is the um, God, the TCG players. We don't have Max C, and back in September of 2013, when like the infamous Stratos ban happened, when the lists split, and then we had a TCG and an OCG list, the primary change was the removal of Heavy Storm. And in the absence of Heavy Storm, back row was not allowed to do the kind of stuff that it's doing in Master Duel. So D Fissure went to one, Macrocosmos went to one, Kaiser Coliseum got banned, uh, Skill Drain went to one, like a whole bunch of like the floodgatey crap just left the building, like exit stage right. So, uh, TCG players have not had to worry about, like, Max C or these kind of stunny things. The, the closest thing to stun that you've ever seen is, like, Inspect Border and Goes and Match. And, like, Pankratops can quite literally normal sum or special summon, beat up the Inspect Border, and then tribute itself to pop the Goes and Match. You know what I mean? Like, stun has yeah. never been a huge thing for a lot of TCG players. And for the last eight and a half years, it's all been just... Combo, 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 combo. Especially once Max C left the building, it's literally just been here's the new combo deck, here's the virtual world deck, here's the Tribrigade Lyralus deck, here's the Dragon Link deck. It's always just been make my board, and we finally have been like drip fed these things like Forbidden Droplet and Dark Ruler No More to break said kind of boards. But now you've all these TCG players springboarding into Master Duel and seeing like here's set five plus max C, do something about it, and it's actually like three floodgates, and they just don't know how to play against it. And it's artificially raising the ceiling of Eldlick players, because we do have players who are doing things like set two Wabaku pass. Yeah, it's just, Eldlick is just, you're very strong against all matchups, uh, and because just by existing in the format, you force your opponents to make their other matchups worse just to make sure that they don't just auto lose to Eldlick. Um, it's my one of my hardest matchups is Eldlick because like it, it's so hard to combo through their field and if they've got like Imperial Order, it's like impossible to get through. And in this case I know the far left is the counter trap, so they can't use it. So I can now just at this point pretty much 
easily swing over. Yep, and we're good. Cool. He had a Cold Particle that he didn't use, which would have shut me down. Um, yeah, and then we just got the double swing to to sweep him out. But this is just a case of being patient, like drawing. Realized really I couldn't do anything. I kept the impermanences in my hand just so it made him. Because whenever I set my impermanences against Eldlick, they always just kill. Me. So I'm just kind of like, all right, I'm just gonna hold this card. 